Hi, I'm Radu Popescu. In this video, I'm going to show you how to publish your MSIX package to the Microsoft Store. Why should you choose Microsoft Store? Because your MSIX package will be digital signed automatically, because Microsoft Store is a marketplace and you don't need to create an e-commerce website to sell your app, and because you have a great exposure since Microsoft Store already has notoriety and a great amount of users. Now let's get down to the publishing process. Go to developer.microsoft.com and create a developer account if you don't have one already. Once you've done that, log into Partner Center, navigate to the dashboard and create your app by reserving a name. From Application Overview, click Start your submission. As you can see, there are six submission steps from which five are mandatory. Let's go through each of them. Pricing and availability. Here you define the way your application will be available for the potential buyers and how much it will cost. Properties. Select from which category and subcategory your application is part of. Add support info, whether or not your application access or collects user data. Select which display mode your application is using. Check my product declaration depending on your app and define the system requirements of your application. Age rating. You need to complete the International Age Rating Coalition questionnaire based on your app type. Package. This is the section where you upload your package and Microsoft will validate it. When you create a new app in Microsoft Store, unique app identity details are generated. This information can be found under Product Management, Product Identity. Before you upload your package, make sure to include the above information in the app manifest. If the information from the Microsoft Store doesn't correspond to the one in your package, you will receive a validation error. Manage Store Listing Languages After you upload your application to the store, during validation, the appxmanifest.xml file is checked for the supported language entries. After the language is detected and displayed, you need to complete the store listing. This is an example of how the defined product name, description and screenshots will look in Microsoft Store. Using additional store listing languages, you can add multiple store interface listing in different languages. Submission options. This step is not mandatory, but I recommend you to complete it. Especially the publish hold option. It helps you planning the store publishing after your application passes the certification. Also, if you have any additional information such as test scenarios, user and password test accounts and so on, make sure to add them in the notes for certification. This will ease and speed up the test process. Going back to the submission page, after all the steps have been completed and validated, all you have to do right now is click on the submit to the store button and wait. We did our part and now Microsoft will test our product and evaluate our submission. Now you know how to publish your MSIX application to the Microsoft Store. For more guides and tutorials, check out the Advanced Installer YouTube channel and also the Advanced Installer blog.